Let's say you are some type of a hunter-gatherer, and you're trying to figure out how much of your time to spend hunting and how much of your time to spend gathering. So let's think about the different scenarios here and the trade-offs that they involve. And just for simplicity, we're going to assume that when you're talking about hunting, the only animal around you to hunt for are these little rabbits. And when we talk about gathering, the only thing that you can gather are some type of berries. That'll keep our conversation a little bit simpler. So let's think about all of the scenarios. So first, let's call this first scenario scenario A. And let's say, so let's call this the number of rabbits, the number of rabbits you can get. And then let's call this the number of berries. Let's do this column is the number of berries that you can get. So if you were to spend your entire day going after rabbits, all your free time, out, you know, making sure you have time to sleep and get dressed and all of those type of things, let's say that you can actually get five rabbits on average in a given day. But if you spend all your time getting rabbits, you're not going to have any time to get berries. So you're going to be able to get zero berries. Now let's say that you were to only try to, let's say you were to allocate a little bit more time to get berries and a little bit less time to get rabbits. So we'll call that scenario B. We'll call scenario B the reality where you have enough time to get four rabbits on average. And when you do that, all of a sudden you're able to get a hundred you're able to get 100 berries. And when we do the, these different scenarios, we're assuming that everything else is equal. You're not changing the amount of time you have either hunting or gathering. You're not changing the amount of sleep. You're not changing your techniques for hunting rabbits or hunting berries, or you're not somehow looking to do other things with your time. So all other things are equal. And the general term for this, and it sounds very fancy if you were to say it in a conversation, is ceteris paribus. Ceteris Ceteris paribus, paribus, which literally means, so anytime someone says, oh, and you know, ceteris paribus, we assume this variable changes or whatever else, they're saying we're assuming everything else is being held equal. So ceteris, ceteris means, ceteris means all other things, other, other things. You're probably familiar with et cetera, it's the same word essentially, other things and paribus Paribus, other things equal. So you're not, when you're going from scenario A to scenario B, you're not changing the amount of time you're sleeping. You're not changing uh, somehow the geography where you are. You're in a dramatic way. You're not changing. Uh, you're not changing the tools you used or the technology. Everything else is equal. The only variable you're changing is how much time you allocate to finding rabbits versus finding berries. So let's do some more scenarios, assuming ceteris paribus. So let me do scenario C. You could, on average, have enough time to get three rabbits. But if you get three rabbits, then all of a sudden, you will only be able to get, or you will be able to get, or if you're only getting three rabbits, you're now going to get 180 berries. And let's do a couple more. I'm going to do two more scenarios. So let's say scenario D. If you reduce the amount of time you spend getting rabbits, so you get two rabbits, now all of a sudden you, can, you have enough time, on average, to get 240 berries. And then, let's say you spend even less time, let's say you spend even less time getting hunting for rabbits, on average, then you have even more time for berries, and so you're able to get 280 berries. And then I'll do one more scenario here. So let's say scenario F, and let's call these the scenarios. Scenarios. Scenario A, A through F. So scenario F is you spend all your time looking for berries, in which case, on average, you're going to be able to get 300 berries a day. But since you have no time for rabbits, you aren't going to get any rabbits. So what I want to do is plot these. And on one axis, I'll have the number of rabbits. And on the other axis, I'll have the number of berries. So let me do it right over here. So this axis, I will call this my rabbit axis, rabbits. And we'll start, that'll be 0. And then this will be 1, 2, 3, 4. And then that will be 5 rabbits. And then in this axis, this axis, I will do the berries. I will do the berries. So this right over here, let's make this 100 berries. This is 200 berries, 200 berries, and then this is 300 berries. And so this is my berries, my berries axis. Now let's plot these points, these different scenarios. So first we have scenario A. Scenario A, maybe I should have done all of these colors in that scenario A color. 
Scenario A, five rabbits, zero berries. Five rabbits, zero berries. We are right over there. That is scenario A. Scenario B, scenario B, four rabbits, 100 berries. Four rabbits, 100 berries. That's right over there. That's 100 berries. So that is scenario B. Scenario C, scenario C, three rabbits, 180 berries. Three rabbits, 180. Let's see, this would be 150. 180 will be like right over there. So three, three, if you have time for three rabbits, you have time for about 180 berries on average. So this is scenario C. And then scenario D, we have in white. If you have time for two rabbits, you have time for 240 berries. So that is right around there. So this is scenario D, because this is 250. Well, actually, it'll be a little bit lower. So this would be 250. So 240 is a little bit lower than that. So it'll be like right over there. That is scenario D. Scenario E, you have, if you have time for one rabbit, you have time for 280 berries. So that gets us right about, right about there. That is scenario E. And then finally, scenario F, you are spending all of your time looking for berries. You have no time for rabbits. So all of your time for berries, no time for rabbits. Zero rabbits, 300 berries. That's right over there. So this is scenario F. So what all of these points represent, these are all points, and now this is going to be a fancy word, but it's a very simple idea. These are all points on you as a hunter-gatherer, on your production possibilities frontier. Because if we draw a line, I just arbitrarily picked these scenarios, although I guess you could on average get four and a half rabbits, on average, on average get three and a half rabbits, and then you'd have a different number of berries. So these are all points on the different combinations between the trade-offs of rabbits and berries. So let me connect all of these. Let me connect them in a color that I haven't used yet. So let me connect them. And what you see, it should just be one curve. So I'll do it as a dotted line. It's easier for me to draw a dotted curve than a straight curve. So this right over here, this curve right over here, represents all the possible possibilities of combinations of rabbits and berries. I've only picked certain of them, but you could have a scenario right over here. Maybe we could call that scenario G, where on average, the amount of time you've allocated, on average, you would get four and a half rabbits. So some days you'd get four rabbits, and every other day you'd get five rabbits. So maybe it averages out to four and a half rabbits. And then maybe it looks like you would get about 50 berries in that situation. So all of these are possibilities. You don't have to just jump from four rabbits to five rabbits. Or maybe you know you're spending, uh, maybe in this scenario, you're spending uh, seven hours, and in this scenario, you spend eight hours. But you could spend seven hours in a minute, or seven hours in a second. So anything in between is possible and all of those possibilities all of those possibilities are on this curve so these five scenarios actually these six scenarios that we've talked about so far these are just these are just scenarios on on this curve and that curve we call once again fancy term simple idea our production production possibilities 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 I have put two eyes in there by accident. Possibilities, possibilities frontier. Because it shows all of the different possibilities we can do. We can get three rabbits and 180 berries, two rabbits and 240 berry and 240 berries. What we cannot do is something that's beyond this. So for example, we can't get a scenario like this. So this right over here would be impossible. Impossible. Let me scroll over to the right a little bit. Let me scroll. See my scrolling thing. OK. So this right over here is impossible. This point right over here, where I'm getting five rabbits and 200 berries. If I'm getting five rabbits, I'm spending all my time on rabbits. I have no time for berries. Or another way to think of it, if I'm getting 200 berries, I don't have enough time to get five rabbits. So this point is impossible. This point would be impossible. Any point that's on this side of the curve is impossible. Now, any any point that's on this side of the curve, you can kind of view it as inside the curve or below the curve or to the left of the curve, all of these points right over here are possible. All of these points right over here are these points, for example, it is very easy for me to get one rabbit and 200 berries. So that right over there is possible. Now, is that optimal? No, because if I were to really work properly, I could be, I could get 
I could get many more berries, or I could get more rabbits. For if I have 200 berries, I could get more rabbits, or if I'm concerned, if I only want one rabbit, I can get more berries. So this is possible. All of the points down here are possible, but they aren't optimal. They are not efficient. So the points in here, the points in here will say that they are not, they are not efficient. Maybe somehow I'm not using my resources optimally to, to do this type of thing when I'm over here. Or maybe I'm just not being optimally uh, focused or whatever it might be. If you're talking about a factory setting, when you're talking about maybe deciding to make one thing or another, then maybe you just aren't using your the, the resources in an optimal way. Now, all the points on the frontier, these are efficient. You're doing the most you can do. Right now, we're not making any judgment between whether any of these possibilities are better than any other possibility. All we are saying is that you are doing the most that you can do. Any of these things, you are making the most use of your time.